Let's do question 19 now. So question 19 is summation k equals to 1 to n k into n c k. So this is basically 1 into n c 1 plus 2 into n c 2 and so on till n into n c n. So let me just uh, add here one more term 0 into n c 0 plus this thing because this is 0 this is adding nothing to the sequence. So let this be the sum that I am looking for. Now one another way to write this sum is s is equals to 0 into uh, sorry n into n c naught plus n minus 1 into n c 1 plus n minus 2 into n c 2 and so on till 0 into n c n. The reason I can write this is because uh, if you look at this sum n minus 1 n c 1 in the original sequence I have a term that is n minus 1 in times n c n minus 1 but since n c n minus 1 is equals to n c 1 this thing is also equal to n minus 1 into n c 1 so instead of the second last term which was here I have written this term n minus 1 into n c 1 now when I add these two sequences up I get 2s is equals to n into n c naught plus n into n c 1 plus n into n c 2 and so on till n into n c n. So this is simply n into summation n c i where i goes from 0 to n. And I know that this summation is nothing but 2 to the power n. So I have 2s is equals to n 2 to the power n. This implies s is equals to n into 2 to the power n minus 1. Also, if you don't know the summation of this sequence, the summation of this sequence is easy to work out. Summation n c i, where i goes from 0 to n, is the expansion of 1 plus 1 to the power n. When you do a, the binomial expansion of this uh, summation, you will get uh, summation n c i, and this is simply 2 to the power n. Uh, so that's your answer, n into 2 to the power n minus 1, which is your option A.